welcome to my new video and in this video we will see uh, the first assignment of uh, B computer engineering uh, syllabus which is in Savitri Bhai Phule Pune University so the assignment is about binary search and the technique which we are using in uh, binary search is divide and conquer alright so let's take an example suppose we have these five numbers so first thing to note here is whenever we have an array of numbers we need to sort them before doing the binary search so this is the sorted array which we have then what we do we have this uh, first element which is, which has the position as 0 right? so I will write the position here it is ok it has 0 oh, sorry 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 alright so the algorithm is like what uh, what we do initially we find the middle uh, position or middle element in the array so how we do that is we add the first uh, position to the last position and then we divide it by 2 so here we have first position as 0 so 0 plus 4 which is equal to 4 divided by 2 so our position is 2 so this is the middle so middle is 3 All right. then what we do we check our element which we want to search in this array with this element 3 so suppose we want to search 9 then we see whether it is greater than 3 or less than 3 so 9 is greater than 3 and what we do we change the lower uh, value of the array which means that we divide this array into two parts the one part is less than uh, 3 and one part is greater than 3 so our new lower will be 7 which is at third position and high will be 4 alright so we will not count for this part of the array we will see only the upper part the new middle will be 3 plus 4 which is 7 by 2 which is equal to 3 3.5 so it will be 3 so our middle position will be this 7 now all right then we check this with 9 again so which is again greater than 7 so our new low will be one more than middle which is 9 alright so this time it is at fourth position so 4 plus again high will remain the same 4 plus 4 which is equal to 8 divided by 2 which is 4 now again we will see if it is greater than or less than or equal to the middle now middle is 4 so 9 is equal to 9 so hence we have found the element alright so suppose uh, we, we were searching 10 alright so now it has reached the final element so next element will be greater than so lower will be greater than high if we go further in this algorithm so which violates our case all right so in that case it will display that no element form similarly if we were searching for first element of one all right so it will work in similar way the only difference is our high will change to one alright so what we will do our initial high was 4 so now our new high will be middle minus 1 so it will be 1 again our middle will be 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1 by 2 which is equal to 0 0 0.5 so it will be 0 again we will search whether it is equal to 0 so 1 is equal to 0 right so it will find find that element Similarly, if we were searching for 2, now in that case, uh, 1 is smaller than 2. So our lower will be middle plus 1. So lower will be 1 and higher is also 1. So it is equal. It is not violating our case. So 1 plus 1 by 2, which is 1. Again, we have found the element. So in this way, it is searching the elements in the array. Now let us look at the program.
right so this is the program we have one class binary search and in that we have written this function int search and bubble sort so we have only two functions we are using this uh, search function recursively to find the element right and bubble sort in bubble sort we are sorting the elements all right so initially we are asking for the size of the array then we are creating an array of uh, that size and we are taking the elements and then we are calling bubble sort so bubble sort is uh, an easy algorithm where it search for the neighbor uh, element and if it is uh, smaller then it swaps or if the neighbor element is smaller then it swaps else it, it does nothing all right it moves on similarly uh, we have uh, we are sorting all right and then after we have uh, the sorted array we are calling this p dot search function so what it does it takes the array the upper uh, position lower position and this s is the key which we need to find or element which we need to find in the array okay so upper initially what we are passing we are passing the length length so the position starts from 0 so that's why we are subtracting one from it all right suppose we have five elements so we have array starting from 0 to 4 all right so the upper will be 4 that's the reason we are subtracting one then lower is 0 initially so lower plus upper by 2 so 2 will be the middle position as we have seen in the uh, the, the diagram which we which i explained it initially then it search it checks the condition whether lower is less than or equal to upper all right so if lower is greater than upper then our condition is violating then it checks whether middle is equal to our key so if that is the case it returns the position all right else what it does if it if the middle element is greater than our key all right so if uh, it means that key is smaller so it uh, makes the upper as middle minus one all right similarly it makes lower middle plus one in in the case where key is greater than middle that's opposite of this now again calculates it calculates the middle and it calls the search function again so it goes on and if it doesn't find any uh, element in the array it returns minus one so again we are checking whether it, it returns minus one or not if it returns minus one then we are uh, uh, telling that no element is found all right so and if it finds the element then it displays successfully found the element at the index whatever is returned by the function all right so this is it thanks for watching guys and if you got something from this video do click on the like button and if you want this code the link is given in the description box below all right thank you